Welcome back to Partnership Tax. This topic we're going to talk about disproportionate distributions and we're going to focus in on hot assets, specifically distribution hot assets. Now you may have heard the phrase hot assets referred to in tax area, in the various tax areas, and maybe people have made jokes. This is actually a topic. Under section 751 A and B, there are assets called specifically hot assets. And hot assets, 751 A focuses on hot assets that uh, relate to sales of partnership interest. 751 B focuses on distribution hot assets. Hot assets are simply just assets that have ordinary character and are categorized certain ways by Congress through the Internal Revenue Code. We've talked about hot assets and other topics, specifically sales of partnership um, interests. They also relate to distributions. Remember that in pro rata distributions, in that topic, we covered that a pro rata distribution means that the partner receiving the distribution is receiving a fair share or has his or her fair share or its fair share going forward of hot assets, 751B distribution hot assets. In a disproportionate distribution, that is not the case. The partner is leaving the partnership, if it's a liquidating distribution, without getting his or her its fair share, or it's getting a distribution that's, let's say it's an operating distribution where they continue, but they're receiving a not adequate fair share of maybe they're lowering their interest. Okay, they still have an interest going forward, but maybe their interest is lower and they didn't get their fair share of hot assets, 751B hot assets. Now, the first thing I want to stress, as I mentioned, there are differences in hot asset rules across the board with respect to partners, sales of partnership interests and distributions, 751A and 751B. Now, accounts receivable generally pretty much the same. When it comes to inventory, all inventory is considered a hot asset for the partnership sale of partnership interest uh, 741, 751A analysis. But for distributions, it must be substantially appreciated inventory. That means the fair market value is greater than or equal to 120% of the adjusted basis of the inventory. So we do that analysis. If the partner is not receiving his or her uh, or its fair share of the um, respective share of the hot assets under 751B. And there's other ones. The inventory isn't the only one. There's account receivable, 1245 recap. There's all these different types, okay? Unrealized receivables is a category. Then we have to go through a four-step hypothetical approach. And basically the idea here is Congress is trying to avoid anti-abuse. We don't want to contribute assets into a partnership that have a built-in gain, character, whatever they are, and then leave without having to record that. We learn about that in 704C in the allocation rules. Same thing takes place on distribution, and that's where this, these disproportionate distribution rules, these anti-abuse rules come into play. You're going to learn about these four steps. Now, there's really two approaches. You're going to see a two-step hypothetical approach and the four-step. I'm going to show you the two-step hypothetical approach in the lecture discussion, and I'm going to talk about the four-step approach when we look at the actual problems. Also, we're gonna talk about retirement of partnerships, retirement of partnership interests, um, I'm sorry, on dis distribution, retirement, or death of a partner, not retirement partnership interests. I mean, you can think of it like that, we just call it retirement of a partner or distribution, uh, sorry, distribution or death of partner. And we have special rules for that. Um, so we're gonna cover those topics, but we're really gonna focus mostly on the disproportionate distributions. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and put my, my gloves on. We're going, getting ready to go into the fire. I right, got my suspenders. Got the gloves. We're going to suit up. We're going to get right to it. So let's get into the specifics of disproportionate distributions. <laughs> 